Hello. So something recently came in the mail today that I ordered on Amazon. Now, I would do an unboxing video, but the box for the product I ordered is like ridiculously long. It's like two to three times as long as what I actually ordered. But today I'm going to show you a Cold Steel Gladius machete. And first, let's look at it while it's in its sheath. It um it has actually a pretty nice sheath, you know, like as it's like plasticky material and then it has, you know, um what's it called? Like nylon, nylon material. And then here you have like this little button thing where if you really want to secure it in its sheath you can do that, but that that's really not, you know, necessary. It's pretty tough unless you're gonna be like upside down or something. I just recommend um buttoning it to the back just like that and then you know that'll keep the button thing out of the way so you can quick draw it um... Yes, this basically you know let's see as I point out the truth Wait, my first impressions were that it's bigger than I thought it was going to be which I think is pretty nice you know it's always great to go you know bigger than you expected but you I mean I think I think a lot of people get that impression when they open up knives um... The handles are made of polypropylene, which is, you know, great. and has, you know, like, great grip and you know, stuff like that. You see, like, it has, like, these wedges right here and texturing. Like, it, it's really good. It's not going to come out of your hand, and it has, like, you know, the pommel. So, I mean, it's definitely not a slippy knife. And I'm thinking about this is it's, it's heavier than I thought it was going to be. Like, I'd, I'd say it might even be heavier than my long sword, which is way longer. And the reason for that would be probably because it has a broader blade, A, because, like, the handle is larger and the handle is made of, like, hard polypropylene plastic. Um, my sword is still my favorite weapon, by the way. But, yeah, I'm just showing you. Um, you know, so the thing about this. Uh, yeah, because of its oh yeah, because of its weight. Um, if you were to like sl like slash, I mean, this would help like be more of an effective weapon. Also, if you're like clearing brush or like hard sticks or something like that, because this is a gladius machete. It's basically meant to serve as both a gladius and a machete. Obviously, you know, it's, it's sort of ground and like broad, like a machete, but it's shaped overall like a gladius, and it's you know tactical like a machete. So. You know, you can sort of do either or with it. You know, I'm assuming you probably couldn't chop with this as good as you could with a regular machete. Also, it, it's very sharp. It's probably the sharpest knife I have. I don't know about my dagger, but it's very sharp. It's two-edged and has a point. So, I mean, if you're going to get in a machete fight, you're best off, you know, using this. And then another thing I'd like to note is that... um this pretty much is a battle ready short sword you can get for less than fifty dollars and that, that that's pretty much you know incredible I mean you're looking at a, a battle ready short sword and battle ready being defined as high carbon steel full tang and heat treated which this is all those things um you're looking for you mean a battle ready sword? Typically, you're going to get one for around the hundred dollar range, but for less than fifty dollars, that's great. And I think you know, technically, since they counted it as like a machete, it's you know, it's therefore you know, technically, like you know, somehow that makes it cheaper. I I, I don't know how, but the point is, I mean, you can get a short sword that's battle ready for less than fifty dollars. I got this for a total of $33 on Amazon, including shipping. Um, what else would I like to note about this? Um, and it has a black coated blade, which helps protect from rust and so forth. Um, it is made from 1055 carbon steel, which is high carbon steel, by the way. 
it's not as good as my sword 1065 carbon steel, and that's what most cold steel swords are made of, but, you know, they want to make this cheaper because, you know, it's a machete and whatnot, so, yeah. Um, the handle is made out of um, polypropylene, as I said before, which is a really, really strong indestructible plaster. It's not indestructible, but it, it's extremely strong, and it um, is weather resistant. You know, if you set it on the sun, it won't sun bleach, which is, you know, cool. It's nice. We'll keep its black color. And it's corrosive resistant, you know, chemical resistant, all, all sorts of things like that. Heat resistant. You know, it won't melt if you set it in the sun. Of course, most plastics shouldn't do that anyway. Um, uh, let's, let's look at the blade shape. As you can see, like, it comes to, like, a spear point, or a dagger point, you know, blade, obviously, the gladius, you know, it's straight, two-edged point, but it sort of, like, it starts off thin, and then it gets wider as it goes to the edge, and that's definitely good if you want to, like, you know, shop with, that's great, so, I mean, yeah, I definitely recommend this to anyone, um, as far as it goes, like in comparison to my sword, even though it's shorter, I personally think it's heavier, or at least feels heavier than my sword. I, I personally don't really know. I mean, I already told you, I mean, it's wide and stuff like that. But like, I, I still think definitely it's it's worth it. And to me, that's good because you know I can play with this all I want, and it won't make my sword feel any heavier because of my muscle memory, which is great. But uh, some of you may not like this, but of course it is part machete, so you know hacking is one of its purposes, and, you know, I, I, I think it's great. I mean, I, I like the extra half the extra weight to it, you know. I remember on YouTube, I saw a guy say, oh, yeah, it's got some heft to it, and I'm like, oh, well, I mean, I got a long sword. I mean, that's not, and then I realized, and I'm like, well, <laughs> this really does have some heft to it. So, yeah, it's, I mean, overall, what can I say? It's a great sword. About, I'd say the Romans, you know, those who, who know me, um, probably know that I'm not too big a fan of the Romans themselves. I mean, obviously, I I don't mind their weapons. I mean, I like their weapons because it's got their sword. But, you know, they're kind of <laughs> kind of jerks, and I am, like, mostly Germanic, so... Yeah. But anyways, yeah, not that I don't like any modern-day Italians. So I'm not racist or anything. But I am definitely proud of being Germanic, too, and I'm proud of, you know, the Germanic hordes and freedom fighters and whatnot, but that's beside the point. This overall, I mean, it's great. I'd, I'd recommend it to anyone, I'm pretty sure. I mean, it's probably illegal in most areas, but if you wanted, you could probably conceal it in a backpack or something of that nature. Um, probably a great thing to go camping with, you know, if you can, like, bite off some, like, mean creature that comes and tries to attack you, so... This is great, you know, this is a, again, like, basically a battle-ready sword you can get for less than $50. I mean, I know I've said it, like, a million times, but, I mean, it's true. Cold Steel also makes a number of other machetes as well. Um, You can see this picture here of all the machetes that Cold Steel makes. Um, I will read them off to you. Um, they have the jungle machete, which is the first one on the list. They have the um, Culpus machete, which is another ancient sword design, sort of like, sort of like a kukri almost design look. Um, they have the um, what's that say? I can't. I think it says Latin machete. Yeah, Latin machete, and then. They have two other Latin machetes on the list. I'm guessing that's like small, medium, big. Um, cutlass machete, that's the one right there at the cross guard. And even though like the guard is made of polypropylene, like I heard it has steel inside of it. So it'll protect your fingers, so that's good. Um, they have the two-handed Latin machete right there. So, you know, they have two-handed versions of a lot of their stuff. They have, um, Two-handed panga machete, right there. Um, somewhere on there. Find that you can look it up. They have 
two-handed kukri machete. They have, um, yes? Wait, just a second. They have the two-handed, um, machete. And yeah, just the regular two-handed machete. And then at the end, they have the two-handed katana machete, which I've actually seen on Amazon for cheaper than this. So, I mean, if you want a battle-ready katana, I mean, I'm pretty, I think that fits all the standards as well. And obviously, I mean, you can fit two hands on this. But obviously, I mean, something this short, I'd definitely say is one-handed, even though it has a bit of heft that weighs a bit. I mean, for this length, it should be a one-handed weapon, and it is basically a short sword. So, I mean, that's all for my review thus far. Um, I haven't, like, tested it out or anything. But, um, I mean, I, I think it's great. I mean, it's sharp. It's It's nice. So that's all for my video now. I'll feature Zane.